Hey, this is Brian from Logic Pro Hacks. Let's mess around playing with uh, two keyboards in Logic at the same time. And also using only one sustain pedal to control both keyboards. No special hardware. Just using Logic to do this. And I'll show you how. It's all done in the MIDI environment window. All right, check this out. This is going to be pretty fast. We'll just go ahead and close these guys out. I'll bring up the MIDI environment window here. Here we go. Look at this bad boy. All right, when you open up a MIDI environment window, you're going to get uh, faced with uh, these guys right here. These are the normal things that you, you find in a MIDI environment window. And then you'll, you might have uh, one or two instruments, depends on you know how, how many instruments that you have going on in here. It'll show up in there as well. All right. Okay, the first thing you need to do is open up a new physical input if you don't have one or there already. It's this one right here. Since I already have it, I'm not going to click it because I'll mess everything up here that I have set. Second thing you, you'll want to do here is um, do some monitors. I like the, this is optional, but I like to have it because with the monitor you can actually control more than one keyboard. So I have uh, two monitors. I just click monitor, and um, you see that I have uh, two monitors going on here. And then another thing you 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 will need is a transformer right there. So. Let me explain how I, I have this going on here. Bring this up here. I'll go ahead and you won't need that connected. I was messing with something. Uh, put that guy back. There we go. All right. So what you need is since here's here's the problem that I had the other day. Let's bring that here so you can see what's going on. All right. I have a chill out pad or a pad sound on one keyboard and I have the sustain coming out of that keyboard that's controlling this guy my sustain pedal and what I want is I also want that same sus sustain pedal to um, control my Artura keyboard which is um, and it's uh, the analog experience factory keyboard and Instead of having two different sustain pedals, I just have one. And uh, it's actually really easy to do in Logic environment. And all you have to do is, um, first let me, is is with the transformer. First let me uh, explain what's going on with the, um, how both keyboards are being controlled separately. In the environment, you have this little thing called the physical input. And on here, you have your ports. Now, if you go into your MIDI, you open up your MIDI window, show MIDI window, and it's in your utilities, and you open up your MIDI, you get to this screen right here. And what you'll need to take note of is, like right now, I have the analog experience. That's my Artera. And then I have my USB 49. Now, if you double click on that, you're going to see MIDI, your your port. This is what you need to just take note of. This is uh, the name of that port. And you can see it's reflected up here. It says factory experience, and it's very hard to see. Um, I don't know why Logic did this, why it's so hard to see, and why it just keeps on going all the way down there. Um, I think it's a bug in their system, but I don't know. Um, but there is a way around it. And then if you click on the other one here, the, the 49, you can see it's port 1, port 2. I wish they would let you rename that, but they won't. Um, so you just, I'm using port 1. So if you if you go in and you hit control and, and you use your mouse button, you can uh, scroll in and you can actually go in and, and count. You know, this is the sum that's going there, and this is goes my bus one. This is my, I have uh, network ports that I'm syncing to different computers, and and those are the ports. But if you go down here, it's it's this port right here. You just gotta just count it and use your you know use your eyes. You know, if you have to go in like even closer, you, it'll help. But 
I'm just using a control, holding out control on my mouse button to do that. And then uh, this one here is going to the USB 49, and they're all going out. And they're going into the monitor. Each one is going to their own instance of a monitor. Now, the monitor is very useful for the sustain because it, it gives you an idea of what's going on with the sustain uh, pedal. So, for example, I, I hit my sustain pedal right now, which is attached to the USB um, port 1, which is the Axiom. See how both of them are, are coming through? Like that. And it's... Um, now the cool thing about the monitor is, is it shows what control um, code is coming through. You got the 4640. It's very important to know because that way, when see how I have the uh, transformer. Oh yeah, that's right. So first, I forgot to tell you that it, out of port one, it goes into the transformer. No, no, no. Yeah, it's going to the monitor and then out to the transformer and then transformers going back in into the monitor for the Artura. Um, and so if you double click on the, on the transformer, you can see that how I have this set up here, I have apply operation and filter non matching events. Um, I, I tried, you can also do it with the, um, one here. Um, I think it's like condition splitter, true top cable. I think this will work too. But I don't know. I, I, I'm not too familiar with um, wh which one would work best. I feel like this one would work best. So, um, and then on the equals, you have, you just set it for status equals and you control here. And then on the channel, equals again. And this four here, see how there, there's a four right here? Uh, or you equal that. And then the data byte, you set it to equal. And then you have it. Uh, 64 right there and then and then you'd also do another data byte but you use the inside I've tried different ones but this is the only one that really works the inside and you set it from 0 to 127 and then you just make sure these are all through and then also make sure this is filter duplicate events um, I'm not really sure if that's really important or not uh, again this is this is a new new um, a, a new thing for me and doing but I, I figured out to do something really cool here so I, I thought I'd share it out with everybody like for example, when you hit the uh, key on the pad right here, you can see. Let's go ahead and turn up the volume here. See, nothing's coming through on this other one right here. So, you know, this this is working and it's filtering right now. If I hit the the, the sustain pedal on this, you can see that is coming through that that signal that MIDI signal or control signal or whatever you want to call it is coming through so which is cool is because then I'm able to um, see that alright that is working and then if I press on a key that is not coming through right there but only going through right in here which is really nice so then we can control multiple keyboards that way because um, say so like if I have another instrument you know, shoot, let's just go ahead and just create another one. All right, so let's go ahead and just drop this guy in here. We can close this guy out. And if we say, like, we do click software instrument and create new, and then let's go ahead and close that out. I don't use that guy anyways. Let me go, shoot, we can just do, like, an ES2. All right, created an ES2, got this guy right here, and then we just do do a custom. Let's do, I have a pluck in here that I like that I created. Let's turn that on a little bit. All right, so nothing's nothing's going through it. I don't have anything connected to it. And let's just change the MIDI channel to one or two. I don't think this really matters because I, I'm controlling it in, in, inside the environment. So what we do is then we go into the environment window. We open up the environment window and, oh, I got too many environment windows open. All right, so go ahead and put this off to the side, close that out. Now you can see that this, this is the pluck that I just created 
is has nothing connected to it or nothing routed to it. So what we want to do is, all right, say like I want to control it with my um, Axiom keyboard. So then I know that my Axiom keyboard right here is this one right here. Like if you click them, either this one or this one. See, I know it's this one because it's the one that's tied to with the transformer and it's the one that has a sustain pedal on it. And so see how I have an extra one right here? There's a little tiny, if we just go ahead and we zoom in. Let me show you this. There's one, two, and this is the cool thing about the monitor is it's like as soon as I, I click and I drag that thing, now if I scroll back out, and then I go over to this thing, all I have to do is just click anywhere on it, it doesn't matter, and, and it highlights, and then and you just let go, and then now I'm able to control that. Now let's see what happens when I control that. Look at that. And I'm also, it's also controlling this keyboard too. So if we just turn up the volume, it's controlling that. And that's that's the cool thing about these monitors, when you have these monitors in, is you can control more than one keyboard. Now say like if um, I, I didn't want it on that keyboard, say like I wanted it on the other keyboard. So it's just really easy, you just grab that. Oops, wrong one. You highlight this, and and then you just kind of move it back in here, and it, it'll take it away. And it's 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 that easy. Now, say like if I wanted to use the other keyboard, like this, you just drag that one and drop it on there. And if I go in and hit my Atura keyboard, it's also controlling. You can hear the um, the synth in the background. which is kind of cool. Will my uh, sustain pedal control that, that keyboard as well on top of the other one? I think it will. It's going through. See? Yep, it's working. All right, good. So if we... Pretty cool, huh? Get the gist of what's going on. If you have any questions or anything like that you need to ask about this as far as um, setting things up or or, or routing things through, uh, through Logic's environment window. You know, I, I actually work as a network engineer, uh, security engineer, and this this actually makes sense to me. This is this kind of reminds me of the uh, network diagrams that I work with a lot, and how things are routed. And like you could say that um, these guys right here are, are, are little routers, and uh, they also display actions um, or bridges. Uh, the transformer is kind of like a, a a bridge or a filter. Instruments are uh, you could probably say. Uh, like computers that they're a network to so and then this here is the the big internet cloud all right yeah having too much fun with this all right guys uh have fun thanks a lot bye